Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to answer the question, did Premiere Pro just delete my projects? All right, short answer is no, it didn't. We're going to look at why you think uh, Premiere Pro may have deleted those projects and what you can do to make sure you know where your projects are. Okay, let's address why you think the Premiere Pro has deleted your projects. Let's have a look at the splash screen. This is the first thing you see when you start Premiere Pro. And in this splash screen, you'll see all the most recent projects that you've had open. If you mouse over, you'll actually see the location of where these projects are. So let's show what happens when you clear the cache, which is one of the main reasons that people think their projects are gone. All right, so here's Premiere Pro. I'm going to launch Premiere Pro and immediately hold Alt and Shift on Windows, Option Shift on Mac. This is a common step if you're ever having problems with Premiere Pro to clean out the cache. We now look at our splash screen, you'll see it empty. A lot of people will panic at this point and think Premiere Pro has deleted everything. It hasn't. Let's open one more project and show you how the recents will get populated again. So I'll click Open Project, pick my projects. And I'll close this project. And you can see there it is. It's also in the file Open Recent here. And like I said, if you mouse over, you'll see the location of this project. So if we go to that location, and actually, once we have this open, you can right click in the project and choose Reveal Project in Explorer or the Finder on the Mac. There it is. So that's the location of that project. It's in a folder with the name of that project and there's a project in it and the media is in that folder. You should be able to control that and you should know where all of your media is. Now, having a recent list isn't unique to Premiere Pro. Let's look at Photoshop. There's Photoshop with a bunch of recent files and if I go to the file menu, recent, you can see all of the recent files I've had open. What about Word? Here's Microsoft Word. There's a bunch of recent files over here. So this is not a unique thing. Let's go back to our file location. You should be controlling where this is. You should be making folders for your projects and controlling all of your media management. Premiere Pro will never delete your media. It will never delete your projects. You're actually never loading anything into Premiere Pro or inside Word or inside Photoshop. Those are applications that load documents that can have links to uh, assets. I mean, Word can have things embedded in it, sure, but it's still embedded in the document. It's never in the program. So you really have no worries about losing this stuff unless you're not doing the right thing and not backing up and not organizing your media. If you haven't been doing any of this, if you've just been starting Premiere Pro and not paying attention and just clicking OK, then your C drive on Windows or your Macintosh drive in your documents, there's a good chance is full of all of your media. And that's the worst place because now you don't even know where it is. It's best to have proper media management and organize these things out. So the next time you have to clear your cache, don't panic that your projects are deleted. All right. If you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment to subscribe. And we've had lots of subscribers, and we really appreciate everyone's support. If you want to take your support up a notch and tell us you care a little bit more about these quality tutorials, join us on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, and many people are donating more. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to make sure you're not panicking when you think your media is missing.